let's create a daily command for our Discord bot. Instead of a regular 24 hour cooldown, the user will only be able to run this command once based on the last day that they ran the command. So the bot will have a fixed time of when users can next collect their dailies. Let's now create this command in our code. If you guys are new around here and want to know how I created a command and event handler like this, I'll have that video linked down below. And if you guys are completely new to Discord bot development, I'll also have a video linked down below where we start bot development from scratch. Anyway, let's get started by creating a new schema inside the models folder and call it user.js. This will allow us to store the user ID, server ID, and the user balance. Inside this file, we'll start by importing mongoose. So let's say const require mongoose. From the library, we're going to import schema and model. Now let's define our user schema. So let's say const user schema and set it to a new schema. Let's pass in an object and we'll give it a few properties. First, we'll add a user ID property, which will have the type of string and required to true. We'll also have a guild ID property and we'll set this to a type of string as well and required to true. Now, if you want your balance to be global, meaning you don't want it to be server specific, then you can ignore the guild ID property. Next, we'll add the balance property, which will have a type of number and we'll set a default value of zero. Finally, we also need to store the time when the user last successfully ran the daily command. For that, we will add a property called last daily, and this will be a type of date and required to true. We have now built our user schema, so let's export it from this file. To do that, at the bottom of our file, let's type module.exports and set it to the model function. And the first argument is going to be the name, which is user. And the second argument is the user schema itself. So let's add that. We can now save this file and close out of it. Now we're going to create the daily command itself. I already have an economy folder inside my commands folder. So I'll create a file called daily.js. This file will export an object and it will have, first of all, the name property, which will be daily. It will also have a description, which will set to collect your dailies. Finally, we'll add a function called callback, which will handle the command itself and make sure to make this function async. This function is going to have client and interaction as its parameters. Before we get into the command logic, we'll import our user schema at the top of our file. So let's say const user equals require, and we'll go up two levels into the models folder and go and get user.js. Once that is done, I'm also going to import a few things from discord.js. So let's import discord.js and we're going to destructure client and interaction. Right before our callback function, I'm going to type forward slash double asterisk and hit enter. We'll set the client parameter to the client from discord.js and we'll do the same for interaction. This part, by the way, was completely optional and it does not have an effect on the result of our code. Now we can move to the logic of our code. So inside the callback function, the first thing that we're going to do is ensure that the command is being executed inside a server and not a direct message. So type the following if not interaction dot in guild. And this is a method. And if that's the case, we're going to reply to the user using interaction dot reply. And this will take an object as an argument inside the object. We'll add content. Content is the message itself, and we're going to set that to you can only run this command inside a server. We'll also set the ephemeral to true. And ephemeral means only the person who ran the command will be able to see the message. Also make sure to add a return right after so the function does not run any further. Below this, we're going to add try catch blocks because we're going to be making calls to our database. Inside the catch block, I'll just console log saying error with daily and then I'll just pass in the error. Inside the try block, we'll start by first sending a deferred reply. So we can say await interaction dot defer reply. Now we're going to define a query. So let's say let query and we're going to set it to an object. And this object will first of all have the user ID. The user ID in this case is the interaction member ID. And we're also going to add the guild ID. Guild ID, of course, is the server ID. So we're going to say interaction.guild.id. After this, we'll find the user in the database. So let's define a variable called user. And we're going to set it to await user.find1. And we'll pass in the query as the argument. 
Now let's check if the user even exists using the if statement. If they do, we want to see if their last daily is the same as today. So we'll define last daily date and we're going to set this to user dot last daily dot to date string. We'll now also define the current date. So let's say const current date and we're going to set this to a new date and then we're going to add the method to date string to this as well. Now let's use an if statement to check if last daily date exactly equals to the current date. If that is the case, we're going to say interaction dot edit reply. And inside the message, we're going to say you have already collected your dailies today. Come back tomorrow. After this, add a return so the function does not run any further. Outside of the if user, we'll add an else statement, which basically means if the person does not exist in the database. In that case, we'll create a new user profile with this user ID and guild ID. Inside the else statement, we're going to set the user to a new user and we'll spread the query, which is basically the user ID and the guild ID. However, we'll also add the last daily property, which will set to new date. New date is basically the current date. Outside of this else statement, what we can do is we can add to the user balance. Before we do that, however, let's define the amount the user can get every day. So before exporting the object, I'm going to define the daily amount and I'm going to set this to 1000. Of course, you can set this to whatever number you want. Back in our code, what we're going to do is we're going to say user dot balance plus equal to and then we're going to set this to daily amount. Under this, we can now save to the database by saying await user dot save. And finally, below this, we'll add a reply. So let's say interaction dot edit reply. And we're going to say daily amount was added to your balance. And your new balance is user dot balance. Let's save this file and run our bot now. I'm going to use Nodemon. However, if you don't have Nodemon, you can directly use Node. So it has registered the command daily. So let's head over to Discord and try running the command. So I'm going to type slash daily. So let's try running this. The first time we run this, we're going to get a message saying 1000 was added to your balance. Your new balance is 1000. However, if we try to run it again, we're going to get a message saying you have already collected your dailies today. Come back tomorrow. Now, if you guys have any problems with your code, join my discord and someone will help you out from here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.